welcome back. Today we are continuing our series called Kids in the Bible. Our today's lesson, we will title it Samuel. Now we are going to look into a story of this young boy who heard God speak. And even at his young age, he learned to listen and obey God. He eventually became a spokesperson or someone whom God used to speak in behalf for his people. Our story is found in the book of 1 Samuel, which is found in the Old Testament. And our story goes like this. One day, there was a lady named Hannah. And Hannah went to the tabernacle to pray. She was sad because she didn't have children. So she asked God, if you give me a son, he will be yours for his entire life. Time went by and God answered Hannah's prayer. He gave her a son and she named him Samuel, which means God has heard. When Samuel grew up and he was no longer a baby, the time came for Hannah to fulfill her promise. So she took him to the house of the Lord for Samuel to serve God alongside Eli the priest. Even though Samuel was just a child, he served the Lord all the time, and he grew in the presence of God serving him and helping Eli. Now one night, Samuel was asleep. He heard someone calling his name, Samuel. Samuel got up and ran where Eli was and said, I am here, you called me. But Eli said, I did not call you, go back to bed. But he heard the same voice again, Samuel. So he stood up and went back to Eli to see what was needed. Eli replied, I did not call you, lie down again. A third time, Samuel heard the voice, Samuel. So once again, he went to see Eli, and he said, Here I am, he called me. Then Eli understood that it was God who was calling Samuel. So he told him, Go lie down, and if he calls you again, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went back to his bed, and he heard the voice again, Samuel, Samuel. This time, Samuel replied, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And God gave Samuel an important message for Eli and for the people of God. From that day forward, Samuel started receiving special messages from God, and he delivered them to many people. All this because he learned to hear God's voice. So here are the things we can learn about this story. Number one, learn to listen to God. There are many ways that God can speak to us. Uh, it could be through his reading of his word, like what we're doing today, learning from the Bible, uh, or it could be through a pastor preaching God's word. It could also be a still small voice. You see, God speaks directly inside our hearts. And the Bible says that He speaks through a still, small voice. And although God's voice is gentle, it is very powerful. So make sure to keep your hearts open and ready to listen to what God has to say. Number two, we need to learn to obey God. After listening to God's voice, we need to do what He asks of us. Whether it is something that we need to say sorry to someone, or when God asks us difficult things, such as, you know, telling the truth, we need to be able to obey Him. Number three, learn to be devoted to God. Although Hannah dedicated Samuel to God for his service, Samuel 
gave his heart and devotion to God. What is devotion? A devotion is giving your all to something you care about. You see, Samuel let God's love fill his life. Sometimes life can get really busy, especially if we are wanting to just do what we want to do instead what God wants us to do. But when we learn to give our time to God and to study His Word like what we're doing today and to, to learn what pleases God, this actually makes God really happy. And this is what you call devotion. And so Samuel grew up to be the priest and the spokesperson uh, that God uses for His people. He is able to deliver God's messages to each people or individual because he listened to God. Sometimes God calls us when we least expect it. And just like Samuel, we can say, Yes, Lord, here I am. I am listening. Make sure to check our ifcchurch.ca website for the activities related to this lesson. Thank you for joining me today and always remember you are special and God loves you very much. Have a blessed day.